join us in building a more fair and transparent future, visit ArtesiaBlockchain.com today. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. The human brain is far superior to even the biggest and most technologically advanced and complex computers. It is believed that the brain can store even the entire internet on it. But did you know that air quality greatly influences our brain function and our mood? Today we have with us the CEO of Planet Watch, a Web3 company letting all of us get involved in providing real-time data about the quality of the air we breathe throughout the day to raise awareness about air pollution, a global issue that affects the entire world's population. In fact, the World Health Organization data shows that 99% of all of us breathe air that exceeds World Health Organization guideline limits. Dr. Claudio Perinello is here to explain how his company, in partnership with the CERN, is leveraging blockchain and normal people around the world to protect public health. Welcome, Claudio. Hello, Jennifer. Great to be here. Nice to have you. So, Claudio, you currently have more than 40,000 people around the world monitoring air quality. How does your system work? Uh, air quality triggers more than 7 million premature deaths per year worldwide. So it's a very big societal issue. We need uh, to monitor it very carefully. Are we doing a good job at monitoring air quality globally? The answer is no. We need better data. And in practice, since air quality can vary a lot on very short distances, we need a very dense air quality monitoring network worldwide, virtually in any city. And the best way to deploy sensors everywhere in your city is to partner with people who live there, with local residents. So what we do is we incentivize people to get and deploy and operate an air quality monitor which streams data to our platform, and we give them rewards for these data streams. And how does blockchain come into the picture? Blockchain is important in three ways. First of all, it's an immutable, decentralized, tamper-proof ledger. We are writing air quality data on the blockchains. We are building the first global air quality repository worldwide, and nobody can tamper with it, including governments. Also, it's a great way to track contributions to our ecosystem. So every data stream sent to us is tracked on the blockchain. And finally, every data stream is rewarded via the blockchain. Claudio, how does air quality impact the brain function? Air quality can impair uh, our cognitive functions, uh, especially for children. It can also possibly uh, facilitate the onset of depression in adults. So it's very, very important. It does affect the brain, but it affects also very other, many other organs, like, of course, the lungs or the whole respiratory system. And uh, in COVID times, it's also important to emphasize the importance of correct indoor air quality monitoring, because when you are indoor in a crowded place, air quality is really a proxy for the risk of viral infections via aerosol, including COVID. Claudio, your company has a mission to build the new green data economy. What exactly do you mean by this? Yes, by green data, we mean environmental data, which are valuable. That's why we are deploying sensors. So what we do is we crowdsource the data, so we enable communities worldwide to help us gather the data. We aggregate, validate the data set, and eventually we monetize it. And we share the process of monetization with the community that helps us generate the data set in the first place. So if a person decides to get a sensor and work with Planet Watch, once they understand the quality of the air where they are, what can they do to um, make their air quality better? Is this something that anybody can do? No, that's a very important point because on top of sharing your data and getting rewarded for it, you do learn uh, from the data that your own sensor is displaying. For example, if you're talking about indoor air quality, if you have an indoor air monitor in your house, you will very fast learn how your lifestyle affects the quality of the air you breathe. You will, you will learn that if too many people stay in the same room for too long, CO2 shoots up, it's time to open the window and ventilate. If you cook, if you smoke indoors, this affects very adversely air quality. And learning by seeing is the most effective way to change our own habits for the better. Thank you so much, Dr. Claudio Perinello, for decrypting how we can all soon be involved in initiatives to track and measure data, such as air quality, to shape our own future. Join us next week when we will talk to the founder of the first crypto wealth management platform about why it's important to make crypto assets available to everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.